I have the greatest idea of all time. What if they had a smartphone with a projector built in it so you could just project your phone wherever you go. Smartphone in your pocket, projector on your wall. We're gonna make millions of dollars. <laughs> I am a genius! What's that? Oh, they actually already made one. The Voga V is a smartphone slash portable projector created to share videos, games, and even PowerPoints with your friends. We were lucky enough to get our hands on one to review, and today we're gonna take a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, well then, to hell with that idea. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Voga V together right after this short introduction. My name's Casey Nolan, let's go. Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're giving stuff away every month and you could win something simply by being a part of the channel. This month we're giving away an x Gimme Aurora projector and an Amazfit Pace smartwatch. So don't miss your chance to win those. So the Voga V. This is a smartphone that I really would like to see succeed. The packaging that it comes in is very sleek and it seems like they put a lot of thought into what a user would want. You get the basic charging cable, some pretty nice earbuds and also a protective screen cover and case which typically you would need to purchase separately, but these guys went ahead and included it in the packaging. The phone itself has a metallic feel to it and it's surrounded with a golden trim giving it a very elegant look. Coming out of the package, it's running an Android 7.0 Nougat operating system with a full HD 1080p 5.5 inch screen. The rear camera has 13 megapixels and an autofocus while the front facing camera has 8 megapixels. I was pretty pleased with the photos that this phone takes and also the fact that later on, when it's show and tell time, you can project these images up on the wall or screen to show your friends and family and that's pretty cool rather than having everybody looking over your shoulder sitting around you while you're flipping through your phone, you can just put it up on the wall. This phone has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM internal storage and if 64GB is not enough, it also has a slot for you to insert a micro SD card allowing you to add an additional 128GB of storage. The battery life on this thing is 4000 milliamps and that was actually very surprising to me because it says that this phone right here can sit on standby for 363 hours so if you're not using it it'll actually stay powered on for over two weeks I mean that's ridiculous that's crazy also I left the projector on while I was testing it and I left it on for about two hours and I was surprised to see that only half the battery of the phone died now most portable projectors will only last two hours of playback time so with this cell phone you're actually gonna get a longer battery life than most portable projectors but that's not what this is all about this is not just a portable projector this is a smartphone this is a cell phone now it is coming straight out of China but it is unlocked to work with most US providers make sure you check the description and see if it works with your network because there's different bandwidths that it will work with and you're gonna want to check that before you end up purchasing this and finding out your sim is not compatible when I tested out the projector I was not expecting much let me tell you guys something in a dark room this thing is actually pretty impressive I had it up at about a hundred inches right here on my projector screen and while I was playing YouTube videos with this thing you could see that the picture quality is actually pretty good now it doesn't give a lot of specifications on the projector itself I did a little bit of research online and I couldn't find the specs of this projector however I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's a 480p native resolution just by the look of it and also it doesn't have too many ANSI lumens in it so for a large image you're gonna want to have all the lights off if you're planning on using this however if the lights are on you could still get a decent small size image up on the wall if you hold this closer to the wall and you'll still be able to see it but don't expect to have a movie theater experience in the daytime or with the lights on so now that we've already gone over all the good things about this phone I really like it a lot until I ran into this one major issue right on the front of this box you see that it says Google and they ship to the US they say that it's it's compatible and everything like that however as I tried to log into the Google Play Store to download apps it would not connect to the Google Play Store nobody seemed to have a solution and they basically said that the United States Google Play Play Store is really not too compatible with this phone just yet. There might be future updates that allow it to be, but as of right now, you will not be able to go on the Google Play Store, which means you can't download apps like Netflix unless you were to install them separately. So if you had an SD card and you went ahead and downloaded the APK files, you can more than likely go ahead and install it separately. But if you wanted to just download them simply from the Google Play Store, that's something you will not be able to do. So my final thoughts on this thing is that it is actually very nice cell phone. The battery on this is not 
not gonna die for a very long time. So if you're the type of person that wants to have a lot of battery, a cool looking sleek phone, it looks sharp, you got the gold bezel around it looking slick, and you have the ability to project stuff up on a wall and show off whatever you got in your photo album or show people YouTube videos without them looking at your phone, that's a really cool feature to have included. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm doing my job well. Thank you for joining me once again. Until next time, I will see you later. My name is Casey Nolan. You got to rotate. Peace. No, do it again. You know it would be awesome if they had a cell phone mixed with a projector. I need the glasses. That's what we need. We need to, we need to put the glasses on and that'll complete the whole video thing here. You ready? Ready? We're gonna, we're gonna drop in. You know it would be awesome if they had a cell phone mixed with a projector. Well, I guess to hell with that idea. Don't need those anymore. Well, that is a shame. But you know what? Guess I won't be needing those anymore. Well, we almost were rich. Could have been a millionaire. Could have been a millionaire. Just a little bit too late. Always a little bit too late.